So hey everybody and welcome back. So today what we're going to be doing is a few DIYs that are going to help to improve my powder room area. Now these are DIYs, well most of them anyway, are DIYs that you can use in any room of your house. So if you guys are interested in seeing these beautiful DIYs that I created, just keep on watching. First off, I'm going to be going in with this clock that I already had and it was from Ikea. I'll also be using these gems from my local craft store. And this glue is just from the Dollar Tree. So what I'm doing here is just placing my gems around the perimeter of the clock. So my plan here is just place the gems in a circle rectangle pattern. This helps me to curve my gems. Guys, please excuse my voice. I am a little bit under the weather, but I am here and I'm going to push through this video because I love you guys so much. Next, I'm going to be going in with this mirror sheet that I picked up from Amazon. Guys, this is just a piece of styrofoam that I already had and I'm going to be using this to adhere my mirror sheet. Guys, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel as well as hitting the notification bell so you will be notified every time I upload a video. So now I'm just going to be going in with this wire reap form that I picked up from the Dollar Tree and I'm just cutting out the edges so that the mirror background will match the circle shape that I am trying to achieve. Now it's just time to hot glue it down. I just have my reform inverted and then I'm just going to flip it back over. Right here you just see me cutting a hole out so that I'm able to get to my clock battery once I have it all glued down. Next, I'm going to be going in with these gems that I picked up from e Mart. If you do decide to recreate this pattern, be sure to cut off those individual wires that are in the way of your pattern here. So definitely do that if you are planning on recreating this because as you can see, I had to go back and glue down a few of my gems because of the force of clipping off those wires. So definitely do that. Next, I'll be using these gems, and they're from Joann's. I'm going to be using these gems to help me to camouflage some of the space that is left over from that mirror backing.
FYI, I'm going to be using these LED candles that I picked up from Michaels on clearance. And they were only $3 because they are summer candles. So next I'm going to be going in with this fine glitter. And it is in this deep, rich purple color. I know it's not showing up as purple on camera, but I promise you it is a very rich purple color. I'm just brushing on that glitter Mod Pie mixture onto my candles and I'm only going about a third of the way up and I did this because I wanted the candle to look more realistic next I'll be going in with this tube confetti and it is from the Dollar Tree I had my husband build me a stand out of reclaimed wood that we already had around the house. This is just some deck wood that we used a few years back for our deck as well as some leftover pieces from the project that I had him complete for the dining room console table. If you guys haven't checked out that video, I will link it in the cards. Because he did make this out of scrap wood, I am going to have to go in and fill in some of the spaces with just wood filler. again with my Podge and fine glitter. I'm just going to take my tape measure and measure so that I can cut out my foam board pieces that I'll need to cover up the face of this stand. Now that I have my pieces all cut out, I'm going to go back in with that same mirror paper and just cover up my foam board pieces. I wanted to create a frame around the face, so what I did was just cut out half inch strips of foam board and then just cover them up with that same paper. with these vase fillers that I picked up from my local craft store.
taking these towels that I already had as well as these stickers that are from the Dollar Tree. What I'm doing here is just straightening out my towel and also folding it so that it's ready for me to add my stickers. And so I just styled it with a hand towel that I got from TJ Maxx Marshalls. was a little bit of a DIY. All I did was put a little bit of glitter and Mod Podge over top of it and spray paint the tip so that it would match better with my decor. And so right here I'm just giving you a look at how I've styled everything in my bathroom. that's all that I have today I really hope that you all have enjoyed this little video if you have please give this video a huge thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys next time bye guys